Hello, my name is Carl from Steve's North End Mower Shop and at this time I hope to send show you some models of mowers that we do bring in stock. We have a whole lineup of Toro and Gravely models in stock. We sell, like I say, Toro, Gravely and we have Aaron's models in snow blowers. I know it's not the time but we will have snow. I know it will come. We have Echo handheld and I'll go through some of the models. Some of the things as you look at, it's like an appliance. This is a long-term investment. And so times to look at product line, it is important to look at, we have trained sales staff that can offer you a very good explanation on Mauer's specifications. They can take, and we are a lawn and garden section. We don't do it all. We just do lawn and garden. So at this point, I can show you different models, but it's, and they can explain to you benefits. Why, like on all steel construction, the gauge steel, uh, things like raise and lower the deck, I'm gonna point them out, but it's time for you to come out and actually, because it's a long-term investment. And also we assemble it, deliveries are available. So this is stuff to consider before you make your initial purchase. Is there a parts program behind us? We stock a lot of the parts in-house. In and we have a good staff that knows knowledgeable as far as trained staff, we send them to server schools. So this time I'll just give you some rundowns on some of the models that we offer. These two that are, there's a 42 in the corner, that's a Gravely ZX series. It's a 42 and then it's twin brothers of 52. Basically they're the exact same unit other than the size of the deck and the horsepower. Um, there's some nice features on it. I'm going to get on this one. There's some nice features. When you sit on it, the raise and lower is a foot control. And there's a pin over here that actually has the height of cut. They use quarter inch increments. Why quarter inch? Because if you do use a rotary mower, sometimes they don't correlate. The parking brakes are integrated into the handle. So when you push this in, the brakes go off. When you push it out, the brakes go on. So it's really much more user friendly. You have a nice, comfortable cockpit, sits in here. It has, you can't see it, the control paddles are all on one side. There is a storage compartment underneath here that you can lift this up and put small things underneath there. Both of them have that ability to do that. They're powered with a Kawasaki engine and that's one of the leading engines out there. There's Kawasaki and there's Kohler engines on these zero turns but we do use Kawasaki and Kohler on both of the models. And that's something looking at, this is a full box tubing frame. As you analyze and look at, make sure you're aware of what you're getting. Sometimes if you look underneath, their box tubing isn't box tubing, it's just a C-channel. So that's also, look at the frame and the way it's constructed. And again, the warranties that are done. We register the mower so you get the full benefit of the warranty that's available to you. Warranty always stipulates material defect and workmanship. And at Steve's Mower Shop, if you do have a failure, we have certified mechanics that can offer the warranty and take care of your needs and stuff like that. Off to my left here, we have the HD series. HD is just a heavy duty model, and this is a 48 and we have a 60 inch cut, and those come in different, and there's a 52 that comes in between there. You'll notice it's a bigger, heavier, more robust, frame to go with it still has the foot control with the pedals it does have a higher back seat and it does have armrests on it the armrests are important because it helps to keep you snug in there if you're mowing on hillsides and that's something to consider like i say on the 60 same unit other than it can get a what we call a suspension seat can be added to it why because if you're mowing a lot of grass you want something that gives you a little bit more a bounce or more cushioning when you're sitting on there for hours at a time. That's something to consider. Like I say, on the HDs, this is a full commercial grade machine other than it doesn't have the roll bars on it, so it falls under certain restrictions. But it has the heavy duty transmissions which actually have oil filters on them so that you can change the transmission filters out of them after so many hours. It's a really a robust, this one here, if you look, it has ability to lift this up. It hasn't been lifted yet, and it makes it ability to clean out. So that's really nice. You can blow it out, clean out the debris, and it just folds back down. 
both models on that one have it. This one here, if you take the tray out, it has the same thing. So it's a grass buildup and stuff like that over the years. Again, we are been here at Steve's Mower Shop since 1969. So we've been here a long many years. On this model, we have a Toro that we have shown here. This one here is a 42 inch cut. And it has, again, we're using the Kohler engine on this one. The thing that I like, it's our smallest entry point. But again, this is a fabricated deck instead of a stamp deck. Again, as you look around, the fabricated deck is a thicker steel, much stronger, much more durable. Stop out at Steve's Mower Shop. The guys will go over it with you, explaining some of the benefits. But this is our smallest unit. We like to say we have it in a Toro and we sell it in Gravely. So those are the 42 inch cuts. On here we have the brakes are integrated into the handles. So when they're out like this, the parking brakes are on. When you roll the handles in, the brakes come off. So it's much more easier to operate. So you flip the handles on, now you're in the operator's position. And then when you want to get off the mower or get off of it, you can flip the handles out. And if you shut the blades off, and then you, it's safe to get off and the engine will keep running. As soon as you want to start mowing again, you just bring the handles back in and engage the blades and you can start mowing again. So just for your knowledge, the handles are integrated into the parking brakes. It is, again, the zero turns are really simple to operate. If you come out, we will go over and explain. Many people are intimidated and afraid of running them. So we will gladly go over them and explain how it works. But on a zero turn, the benefit is the noise is behind you, heat's behind you because the engine sits there. A lower center of gravity. Your sight line is so much greater. You can trim so much better because you have hand control on the levers. That is something that is better than any lawn tractor is. And it's so much more maneuverable and it will save you many hours of mowing grass. It depends on how big your yard is, but maneuverability is what it gains you. And ease of trimming, so you can trim within a six inches of anything you want to cut. Off, over here I have what we Toro has called the My Ride. I'm going to sit on it. It's a whole platform that adjusts. So when you sit on it, it makes it much more movable. So when you go over your rough areas and stuff like that, they are using the foot control so you can raise and lower it. And all you're doing is pulling a pin, changing the height to cut. Why is that important? Because again, depending on the time of the year, you may get into a drier time. You may need to mow higher than you do in the spring of the year or in the fall of the year when you're doing leaves. These do a grand job of doing leaves. Again, this is a 50 inch cut. We have 42s, 50 inch cuts. We go up to a 60 inch cut. We're going to show you one outside that we just got in. It's a new model and we're going to have that and we'll show you a little bit of a demonstration on that. It's called the Titan series. Each company has a series of mowers and again it's important to understand what you're looking for. It's based on how much yard you're trying to mow what series that might benefit you. So if you stop out at Steve's Mower Shop, somebody will go over it with you, explain your benefits. Why would you look at something different than maybe the homeowner series because you have five acres and it may still not be a full commercial grade, but it might be like I say, the Gravely on the HD or the Titan over here. Here we're going to show you the lineup of Echo and they call them PAS. What we have is for the different attachments that can be put on this tower head, what you have is two different engine sizes, depending on the CCs that you're going to come out and take a look at. And then you would have a trimmer, you would have a brush cutter. We have two different model hedge trimmers. One is articulating, so it would bend just like my wrist does, or one is a straight one. You have a chainsaw, you have an extension, and then there's a edger. There's what they call a tiller on the far end. So there is a many different attachments some we don't even stock. There's a power broom. Why would you want that? If you were doing light snows in the fall of the year for doing sidewalks, great tool, could be useful. Like I say, the chainsaws, great tool for trimming instead of getting up on the ladder and hurting yourself. The brush cutter, we just had somebody purchase one and they're out there. They were very happy the way it worked for small saplings clearing out. And then you normally have the trimmer, but it's nothing more than attachment on the bottom. It's just a wing nut and a little pin there that locates it so you can put attachments off and on so you don't have multiple power heads. You have one power head doing many things out there. And with the homeowner today, there's from the little tiller, from the edger, like I say, the chainsaw, the hedge trimmer, 
all the different attachments that are available from Echo. And again, we assemble them, we gas and oil them. So when you stop out at Steve's Motor Shop, when you leave, and they are registered. So that is important too. We've had instances where people have bought them other places and didn't have them registered, so their warranty is not in effect. Here we have a lineup of Echo hedge trimmers that we can show you. Again, there is gas powered, there will be a battery operated. And there's just different models for different consumers for what they need, double-sided, very large cutting abilities and stuff like that. Here we have the biggest backpack blower. It's a BP9010, and that's one of the biggest ones in the market that's out there. And some neat things, again, I can just touch on, but they have rubber isolators in the back end. This has a full chrome cylinder, heavy-duty air filter. The trigger is on here so that when you're blowing, you have full control of what you're blowing and where you're blowing. So it's something to consider. We have a smaller unit. And again, it has to do with CFMs, the cubic feet per minute, and the air volume. So there's different price points. It's the only way you can come out and take a look at them and different models available. Here we have two different model handheld blowers. Again, different so much in the CFM, but this one will have a non-chrome cylinder, this will have a chrome cylinder. What does that do for you? Longer life, much more, it creates more power, and it's a little bit bigger CFM because of the chrome cylinder. So consider that. Here we have the Time Master. We have two models, and this one here is the homeowner series of the Time Master. It's a 30-inch cut. Without getting into a full commercial grade, it bags, it mulches inside discharges. It has a feature when you start up the engine, now you pull this back and now the blades engage. So you can walk across the yard if you want without the blades engaged if you were bagging. This is a larger unit. This is a commercial grade of the same thing, but this is a much beefier engine to go with it. You can see it has protection underneath. So if you go underneath shrubbery and stuff like that, it's a bigger gas tank, much heavier wheels. Again, we brought this in because some of the commercial guys want to get into a little bit more rugged durability unit than the regular time cutter or time master that is being sold regularly. But this is something that really, even for the homeowners that really have a larger, but they don't want to get into a full commercial grade machine that's very expensive. So we have brought that in this year. What we have here is a lineup of many people have been looking at the battery operated equipment and this is great. Uh, some of the stuff that Echo has is in models of different batter, not the battery size, but different amp, batter, uh, amp batteries is available and also the size of the trimmers available. And you can see we have a handheld blower, we have a hedge trimmer, we have a chainsaw. So there is a complement of all the different trimmers that are out there. There is certain models that have an in-house rebate. So as you look at it, you can walk out with the savings. You don't have to mail anything in. Again, the staff will explain to you which models are available. And it is great for some of the consumers, especially in the smaller sector where they don't have as much uh, yard to trim. It's not meant for the person that might have three acres of yard. It is meant for the town home. No fuss, no muss, just charge the battery and go. So that's something that Echo has addressed. Hopefully, it can, it's a name brand. We have a great warranty on it. And that's something to consider when you're looking at it because if the battery fails, is it someplace that you can come back to and get a battery or some kind of warranty? And then again, we assemble it and it is done with registration. So we have in our system, we keep all records on our computer that when it was purchased, all repair work is done that way too. We know when we repaired something, what was done. So we have an extensive file of repair work on anything that we have serviced at Steve's Mower Shop. Yeah, we have a lineup of Echo chainsaws. I'm not going to go through all the different models that we have. Again, it depends on what you're trying to do, how big you're trying to cut, and stuff like that. But I will touch on, here's one of our battery-operated models. It's a very small handheld type of trimmer chainsaw. And this is basically the same thing, but in a gas powered, very light, very small, very compact, very powerful to go with it. Then they have different sizes as you go up to different, we have a cutoff saw now in the lineup. We do stock a lot of the chains and bars that are available. Again, stop out at Steve's Motor Shop. Again, they'll go over it, explain it, because it's very important to understand the CCs, the features of a top handle versus a regular handle. Why would I go with that? It's all relevant to how much wood you're trying to cut. 
Maybe you're just a homeowner and you're just cutting up some that the battery operator, no fuss, no nothing, just trim, charge it up, go to town. So that's something to consider. We have a whole lineup of trimmers, again, different models, different, but the one model that is SRM225, if you check around, we have, we have an in-house rebate of $30 off of that model. Again, the, mo the trimmer is a great trimmer, it's a straight shaft trimmer, it is the homeowner, it's the lightest thing that we offer, but then from that point on, you'll go into bigger motors that have anti-vibe system built into it, so that's something to consider when you look around. Now we have a new model here, not new, but it's new to us with a pole saw. So it extends out. So you, again, this will extend way up there. So you don't have to reach and climb up on a ladder or anything like that for your safety. We have a generator that Echo has made. This is our one model. It's called an EG 3500. We have another model that's bigger. Right now it's out of stock, but we are getting them in. You can see we carry a full line of Echo trimmer line. So we are well established at Steve's Mower Shop. Something to think about also on the bigger stuff I can go back to. We do do in-house financing. You need to stop out. There is different plans for in different models or different companies. So please stop out. That makes it helpful for when you're doing your financing, just like I said, for an appliance. This is a long-term investment. And if you're mowing, it's something to consider and but we do have in-house financing so you don't have to go run around using a bank card we can do it Gary or somebody here can fill it out and be very helpful as far as getting you on your way of mowing grass what we have here is a gravely stand on it's a 52 inch cut uh, it has been taken over the market especially instead of a walk behind because it is much more compact meaning you can put it on the trailer some homeowners enjoy it uh, the advantage is it's very maneuverable and it has a feature that I don't know if we can show you, but we have a stand on, but you can fold up the, the platform and you can walk behind it. Why would I need that? That might be coming into play if you have really steep environments or steep hillside mowing so that you don't have feel unsafe on it. But it has the full complements. If you did get off the mower, if you let go of the handle, the engine would shut off. But this is a new trend in the market that's really taken off. Instead of a sit down, you're on stand ons, they take up less trailer space or in a garage take up less room, but they are very maneuverable. You can see where you're going. When you stand on one, your sight lines are so much more visible you're for trimming left and right. And they're no different than running the zero turn. You just a matter of pulling the levers, squeezing this handle here, and it turns left and right, very maneuverable. You pull it back, it goes in reverse. You can see, and it's easier for sharpening blades, you can lift the front end up. As you're looking around for just what we call a simple rotary mower, as you go out and check around, there isn't much left in the market. Toro's one of the leading that still has been making, rotor, we call them rotary mowers, a simple mower. This is a push model, it's a bagger, and it has a steel deck, it has used a Briggs & Stratton engine, it comes as a bagger and mulcher, you can put on a side discharge. If you talk to Gary, when you register it, you can get a side discharge available. This is, on this model here, we have a personal pace. This has been a self-propelled model, and as you slide this down, this moves. It's rear-wheel drive. We stock it only in a rear-wheel drive, but we also have what we call stow models, because what you can do is you can flip this handle up, and it will, that way you can take this off and you can stand the mower up on end. You can take the bag off of it, and you can stand the mower, store and stow as they call it. You can stand it right up on end and it will store the mower. But you can also flip it right over for storage underneath or if you're gonna transport it. But these two, we brought this in instead of the regular one without it. So this is the store and stow model and we really think this is much more useful. You'll see it has rubber tires on it. It comes as a rope start and it does come an electric start. At this time, we're out of the electric start, but they are coming in. A little bit of a problem still getting certain models available coming through this from the supply chain. But it'll be exactly the same mower with a push button key start with a battery on it. And that's been very successful for us for many times for, again, older consumers, people with handicaps. And the starting procedure, you just pull this down, push the button, it starts right up. And it has a, you just get a charger like you do a cell phone, charges it up. Again, on these models, when you leave the Steve's mower shop, they are fully assembled, gas and oiled, and for you ready to go home, and they are registered so that you get the full benefit of all the warranty. 
And again, like I said, at Steve's Motor Shop, we have parts in-house, so at a later date, you can use them and stuff like that. If you need parts, we will have them. What we have here is the new Toro T Max Titan. The Titan, I'm sorry, Titan, 60 inch cut. We just got them in, they just came in. We ordered them months ago, they just arrived. But it's a new model that Toro has come out with and it's called the Titan. But some of the nice features on this, again, as you sit on it, the foot control, I know you can't see it, but you push this down, it raises and lowers, or you put a pin, you just put a pin and it tells you what height of cut. So it's right and visible in front of you. The control panel, as I look at different companies, the control panel is so much more user friendly. Everything in front of you, the PTO switch, the choke, the throttle, all that. These are, again, integrated parking brakes in the handle. When you flip it in, now it's ready to move. When you flip them out, they go out, that puts the parking brake on. This has a I-beam suspension. If you look at the front axle, it's, a, it's like an I-beam, so it is really robust. Full box tubing. Some of this stuff is, this is still considered a homeowner series because it does not have the ROPS on it, rollover protection. So this is something to consider. It has a rubber mat. Why is it important with a rubber mat? When you get off and on, the grass gets your shoes really slippery. So here it becomes that, and it also diffuses some of the vibration created from the mower deck. So these are really thought out mowers. Again, if you stop out, somebody will take the time and explain some more features. It is powered with a Kawasaki engine. We're authorized in Kawasaki, Kohler, Briggs & Stratton engines that we can do warranty work for you. Again, warranty is always said material defect workmanship. And I'll touch on a little bit. The biggest problem we're having today in our industry is the ethanol gas. So it is real important to treat your gas with some kind of fuel stabilizer. We use Startron here at Steve's Mower Shop. So that's something that as you buy your gas, you should use. And also touching on snowblowers, if you have a snowblower, you should be this time of the year starting them up two and three times over the summer months to keep them running, to keep the gas going through them. Don't wait until December and then think that when the snow comes, they'll be ready to start. That's when we run into issues from gas. They call it phase separation. So it's just a little tip at Steve's Mower Shop. Run your snowblowers during the summer months. Hopefully this has been helpful. Stop on out at Steve's Mower Shop. We do have a pickup and delivery service. We have two rollbacks. We have a driver on the road. Stop out if you have any needs for service work done at Steve's Mower Shop. We will gladly take care of them.